First, let's take a look at the Spirited Away landing page that you checked for design and HTML flaws. To start out, the main image has faults. There's way too much text going on here, and the text also covers up part of her face, which is a central focus of the image. This is much better. Sometimes it is unavoidable to have the text covering main sections of the image, but at least this minimizes the issue. Keep in mind while choosing main hero media content photos that you may choose to add text overlay to the bottom left of the photo. So the important parts of the picture should avoid that region. Additionally, make sure your images are cropped to the right size. Below this video, there's a link to the web services recommendation for image sizes. Next, let's look at the card deck on this page. You may have noticed a few things wrong with this. First, there's an image that doesn't exist. This is an HTML issue, which means there's something wrong with the code. The link within this code doesn't exist. To fix this, replace the source with the correct link to a photo that you know has been uploaded. Additionally, as stated, these links are not descriptive and therefore are inaccessible. Accessibility will be discussed later on in this course. Just keep in mind that Learn More and Click Here are not acceptable link titles. Another issue with this card deck is the alignment. The buttons are all aligned to different places on the cards, and having two cards on one line and a third below is a design issue. These problems will both affect user experience and make the web page look bad. Both can be fixed by looking at the HTML. As you can see, underlined in red, each code for the position of the buttons is different. In the resource section below this video, you can find the documentation on the correct code for each button position. Having uniform positions will make the web page look more organized. Here, green highlights where the issue arises with the card deck. A card deck can hold multiple cards. Therefore, you do not need to open a new card deck container for each card. By opening another container, the code is moving the new card deck to a different line rather than keeping them all together. By putting all of your cards in the same container, the alignment will be correct even if you switch from a computer to a tablet or a mobile device. This is what the card deck will look like with the corrections. And this is the correct code. One more issue on the site is that the buttons at the bottom of the page. They are all different colors, shapes, and sizes. For best user experience, be consistent with the buttons you choose to use, and avoid using light colors such as yellow. This yellow may appear in the documentation site, however, it has been found to be inaccessible. They are inaccessible for people with visual impairments since the contrast is difficult to read. So make sure you don't use this on your own site.